Hello, welcome to this new video. Today, we're going to be reviewing a rugged smartphone from the brand Blackview. The device is called the VB6200 Pro, and before we dive into it, I want you to take a look at the price of this device, which is approximately $130. Keep this price in mind, so you know it's an affordable device. Therefore, the features won't be premium, but it still has many interesting characteristics. So, join me to watch this complete review, and let's start with the unboxing. This is how you'll receive your Blackview. It comes in a white box with only the brand name, model, and some features on the front. On the back, you'll find the complete specifications. When you open the box, the first thing you'll see is your device. On one side, you'll find the accessories. Starting with the 18W fast charger, there's also a USB cable. Finally, here's the device itself, but let's set it aside for now. Underneath the phone, you'll find the manual and a little tool to eject the SIM card. That's everything in your box. Now, let's take a closer look at the Blackview. On the screen, there's a protector with some specifications, but we'll ignore that and focus on the design. On the front, we have the speaker, front camera, and a light sensor. There's nothing at the top. On the right side, you'll find the volume buttons and the power button, which also serves as a fingerprint sensor. Moving to the bottom, you'll see the USB-C port, which has a plastic cover for water and dust protection. Remove the cover to connect your USB. There's also a microphone here. On the left side, there's a button that can be configured for quick access to applications or other functions, like emergency calls. You'll also find the SIM tray, protected by a plastic cover. Remove the cover, use the tool to eject the tray, and you can insert two SIMs and a micro SD card of up to 1 terabyte. Finally, on the back, there's a small notch for attaching a strap, the Blackview logo, and the camera module. Inside the module, you'll find two cameras, a flash, and a large speaker. In my case, it's black, but there are two other versions with orange and green accents. As you can see, the overall design of this Blackview consists of rugged plastic finishes. It's not low-quality plastic, but rather built to withstand all sorts of impacts and drops. As you might know, this device is designed for rugged use and is ready to endure water, dirt, impacts, dust, and any rough handling you can throw at it. That's why it has thick edges, slightly reinforced corners, and that plastic finish, similar to most rugged devices. It's certified as IP68, IP69K, and has a military-grade certification, so it's well protected against many types of damage. Now, let's remove the screen protector and take a closer look at what this Blackview has to offer. I'm going to start with my favorite part of this device, and that's its speaker. The moment you lay eyes on this phone, what immediately grabs your attention, without a doubt, is its speaker. You can notice that it's quite large, much bigger than any speaker on other devices. At first, I thought it would only be loud, but in addition to being loud, it also sounds good. It has good quality when it comes to volume. Here, I have a speaker that's the typical kind you can buy on Mercado Libra, Amazon, or at a flea market. It's the kind your uncle uses to listen to his ranchera songs, and it's pretty loud. As you can see, it's a considerable size, but surprisingly, this Blackview sounds much louder than that speaker. Not only does it sound louder, but it also has better quality. I tried to capture it on camera, but obviously, you won't be able to appreciate how it sounded in real life through the camera. Of course, it's not a professional speaker with all the bass in the world, but even so, it is quite a strong bass, and it sounds better than a Bluetooth speaker. And if that's not enough, if you need to make even more noise, you can go into the settings. In the audio settings, you'll find an option called Speaker Volume Booster. What this option does is turn off the bass and gives more power to the speaker. It sounds louder, but in exchange, it disables the bass, so you lose some quality. However, for a situation where you need to make a lot of noise, it'll work for you. The only downside to the speaker, of course, is that it doesn't have stereo sound since it's just a single speaker. But keep in mind that devices in this price range usually don't have stereo sound. In contrast, this one compensates with a speaker that has better quality and is louder. So, I find it quite impressive. As for the screen on this Blackview, it's a 
56-inch display with an HD resolution of 720 by 1612. It's only HD, not Full HD, and it's an IPS type of screen. The quality is quite good considering it's HD. The colors look pretty nice, and the screen brightness is okay. If you're out on a really sunny day, you might have some issues, but you can still manage to view the content. Perhaps, you can reply to a message without any problem even in the sunlight. However, as I've been reminding you throughout the video, keep in mind the price, it's an affordable device. The downside of this screen is that you won't be able to play full HD content smoothly. In fact, if you try to play full HD content, you might experience some lag. But when it comes to HD content, things work very well, and the device provides good quality. Furthermore, if you're using it for multimedia content, this screen complements nicely with the high-quality speaker. So, you'll enjoy your videos, series, or video games quite well. Now, let's talk about performance, and things might get a bit tense here, but once again, remember the price of this device. It's a budget-friendly device, so keep that in mind. The phone is equipped with a MediaTek Helio P35 processor and 4GB of RAM, which you can expand up to 8GB by using 4GB of virtual RAM. In fact, when you start this device, it already comes with an additional 3GB of virtual RAM. Lastly, it offers 128GB of storage, although there's also a 64GB version available. With these specifications, your device will perform reasonably well. You can open practically all apps, including Facebook, TikTok, games, web browsers, YouTube, Maps, and virtually any app you need. However, it's worth noting that the startup can be a bit slow, and if you start accumulating many apps, you might start noticing some slight lag. If you're a demanding user, you might get frustrated. This might not be your choice if you have a tight budget and are capable of being patient with the device. It takes no more than 2-3 to three seconds to open apps, and you can easily avoid lags by closing apps you're not using and opening them one at a time. With this approach, you can smoothly browse your social networks, take photos, or do whatever you need. Since this is a gaming channel, let's talk about gaming performance. You can run nearly 90% of the apps available on the Play Store. However, for games, you might need to set them to medium or low graphics settings, but they'll still work. For example, take a look at Call of Duty. By default, it sets the graphics to low, but it runs at 60 frames per second without lag. So, if you want to play a shooter, you can do it. For more casual games, like this racing one, it runs without any issues, and you don't have to configure the graphics. Another example is GTA San Andreas. I set it to maximum graphics, and while it runs, it can occasionally lag. The solution was to reduce the resolution to 80%, and with that adjustment, the game ran perfectly without any lag. So, as you can see, with this device, you can enjoy your games by sacrificing a bit of graphical quality. You'll be able to play just about anything, including some non-native Android games. A very impressive feature of this Blackview is its 13.000 mAh battery. Thanks to its power-efficient processor, this battery is ready to handle up to 20 hours of video playback and 17 hours of gaming. To give you a solid example or a good point of reference, I decided to play GTA San Andreas for 10 minutes and set a timer, as you can see here. At the start, I had 90% battery, and I connected a wireless controller, started the timer, and began playing. After 10 minutes, the device had 88% battery left, as you can see. That's just a 2% battery drop for 10 minutes of gaming at maximum quality, which I think is quite good performance. Additionally, the device supports reverse charging, and with its 13.000 mAh capacity, you can easily charge other devices like headphones or even another phone with a 4.000 mAh battery. In the camera department, unlike most devices in 2023 that boast about having 40 cameras, this one only has 3. There's an 8-megapixel front camera, a 13-megapixel rear camera, and the third one is just a depth sensor. 
So, in a nutshell, you have two actual cameras. The rear camera takes good photos when there's ample lighting. However, the photos may appear a bit washed out, but that's nothing some good filters can't fix. Surprisingly, the video quality is quite nice. Of course, it's not full HD video, but it looks good. As for the front camera, it's decent. One crucial aspect of smartphones is connectivity, and this Blackview VB6200 has got you covered on all fronts. To start with, it accepts dual SIM cards and is equipped with 4G capability. It also features NFC, as you can see here, I'm reading my card, and it reads it without any issues. It supports Bluetooth, I connected a controller, and it worked seamlessly. It comes with Wi-Fi 5, and in my home with a 300 megabits per second download and 100 megabits per second upload speed, it achieved those speeds without any problems. It also has GPS, in case you need navigation. That sums it up. Finally, let's talk about the extras. Regarding screen unlocking, you have the option to unlock it with a fingerprint or facial recognition. The fingerprint sensor works quite well, it has nothing to be envious of when compared to other devices. It's not the fastest I've ever tested, it takes about 1 or 2 seconds to unlock, but honestly, you don't even notice it. The sensor works smoothly, always on the first try, and it's perfect. As for facial recognition, it does feel a bit slower, taking about 2 or 3 seconds. Here's where you can tell it's a budget-friendly device. One more extra feature is the special button on the left side. This is the quick access button, and you can configure it with three options, a single click, double click, and a long press. You can assign different actions, which come preset, such as turning on the flashlight, starting a recording, taking a screenshot, making an emergency call, or even opening one of your installed apps with the quick access button. Lastly, I want to mention that the device comes equipped with Android 13 and in. In conclusion, this Blackview VB6200 is a great choice if you're on a tight budget. It's essential to keep in mind that it's a budget-friendly device, but you can tell it's going to be your reliable companion for a long time. Its performance is quite decent, it can handle daily tasks and even apps for banking, school, or leisure. You'll be able to enjoy your favorite games too. In terms of connectivity, it doesn't lack much except for 5G, but considering that 5G isn't widely available in many countries, especially in Latin America, it's not a major drawback. It has some strong points, such as the powerful speaker with good quality sound and the 13.000 mAh battery that will last you a long time. Don't forget it's a rugged device, so it can handle drops and even survive in water. Considering its price, it's a solid choice. However, as I always say, the final decision depends on what you intend to use it for and your budget. Whether it's a good or bad option for you, you have the final say. I'm wrapping up this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Over and out.